Hey guys, it's Gabe from Beagle Boy Outdoors and we are back in 2021 starting our new vlog series. If any of you who are watching are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right down there and you're gonna wanna stick around with us this season because we're gonna have a lot of cool stuff coming up. We're gonna try as hard as we can this year to post as much as we can. Obviously, we got a lot of states on the agenda that we're gonna try and get to. Now, if you watched our vlog series last year, we called it 2020 The Grind. We called it that because we honestly grinded. It was a new state to us, hunting public land. Back home, we did get to hunt some private land. This was all new to us. We hunted public land down here, so we called it the grind. And we just kind of showed you guys, you know, as an average Joe hunter, how you can be successful. Last year was a trial year. Now that we have our feet wet, we're gonna do 2021 grinding harder. We're gonna try and hunt as hard as we can. We're gonna scout as much as we can, put in as much work as possible. That way we can show some success with this. You know, dude, last year when we were down here, just the, it was dry last year in 2020. There wasn't a whole lot of rain. Everything was so dry. We were laughing at each other because our coworkers and stuff were like, gosh, how do you guys get out there when it's so hot? Like, don't the mosquitoes take you away? It's just hot and stuff. Like, yes, it's hot down here. That's something I was not used to. Uh, but the mosquitoes and stuff for us were not that bad last year at all, but I think. This year's a different story. We've had floods. It's been ungodly wet out here. <sighs> right there if you want something to try so you can stay alive and not get your blood sucked by everything out in the woods just go try some permethrin that stuff actually works even if it's a little bit we're literally just talking about the bugs in the rain it's raining right now and i'll talk to you in a little bit about why we like to scout in the rain i was telling you guys it flooded this year and if you can see all this stuff's just matted down that's how high the water got i mean it literally mowed all this grass down and there's probably standing water out here for you know, a day, if not a couple days from these flash floods. You can see how far down the creek is actually. Stream, creek, whatever you want to call it. A little bit low right now because it's finally drying out. But that was bad. The water was so high. I just, I feel bad. Our other spot got completely flooded that we liked to hunt last year. So we still got to see how that's going to go. One thing that'll always get you excited out in the woods, it's finding lots and lots of deer sign. This is just unbelievable how carp this whole path is. And you can see it going all the way up to Another tip for out in the woods, stay hydrated. We had a little episode last year with Gabe, kind of passing out in the tree a little bit. <laughs> so definitely drink lots of water, both on and off the field. This is the amount of deer on this area, especially when you get these fields like this, clover fields, just great. Just great. Great options. You know, we spent so much time. We actually found this spot on Onyx, just doing air photos and stuff like that. Most of you guys that go out here and hunt, I know you have Onyx or use something. If you don't, get on there, whether it's Onyx. Hunt Stand is another great option that's coming up. They have a lot of good weather features. Yeah, we found the spot on Onyx, and I was like, yeah, it looks decent. And we came out here, and we're like, holy crap, the deer everywhere. 50 deer out <laughs> like, the field. We're from Wisconsin. I'm like, if I can see three deer in a sit, I had a good sit. I come out here, and I'm like, 50 deer a night, holy crap. <laughs> but that's all over. I mean, this area, it's just one field of like 20 fields. And it's the same thing, deer all over. The other thing this year with those floods, food sources are gonna be scarce this year. A lot of our other places had beans and corn that flooded, totaled these fields. I mean, kudos to those farmers. Hopefully they can, you know, recover somehow. I mean, that sucks, but you know, you can't compete with mother nature, she'll always win. Another thing to think about, especially if you're down here in Missouri, if you're affected by that flood, crops like that, that are just not doing so well, definitely, definitely uh, know your food sources. 
because if food source died and is gone in one area, your deer are probably not gonna stick around. So use your resources, use your noggin, go find some spots with some good food. All right, so here we are at the last spot of the day. We are exhausted. Game plan for this spot is we're just gonna go check the field, see what's planted, see if we can't find any major runways, any major pinch points, figure out where these deer are really coming out, and hopefully find a golden spot to set up for later this year during season. This way. <laughs> Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, this is a, with rain, this honestly is a bean field, but it's just more grass. It's so green, I think in a matter of two months, by the time September runs around, this is gonna be pretty solid. And that's kind of where we wanna get is over there. You know, we hunted actually over there last year, which it was a bean field, or it was a sunflower field actually. And now this year, it's just a corn field. But I mean, we were thinking in this situation, if you could get up anywhere, granted there's no trees to sit in here, that's just all kind of shrub stuff. You know, in a morning spot where you can glass and see, okay, there could be deer running around there. You could see deer running out of there. And then that little woods is actually a section between here and the water hole we hunted last year. So I just want to get in a spot that we can more see in glass and potentially, you know, if you get in a spot where you don't have anything walk by your stand, you just get down to make a stock on something. I, yeah, I think this is gonna be a great trial spot for more of our spot and stock. Get on the ground and get after them. Cause I mean, there's plenty of cover everywhere just to get on the ground, start chasing them, cut them off. Lots Educatedly, of yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a big mama doe. It just doesn't end, dude. After what we just saw, and as you can see from the deer sign on the ground, this is looking like it's gonna be ground zero. Um, the deer sign is just phenomenal. <laughs> You can't make this up. You, you, you really can't. I mean, this is just crazy. I'm almost kicking myself, but at least we're doing it now, before season. Plenty early enough to where, you know, shouldn't really bother anything. How did we overlook this so much? Butts up to corn? What? What? don't see stuff like this in Wisconsin. No. Come on, baby. Yeah, come, come to on, Papa. Baby. You had to get it close enough. Mm -hmm. Nope, not a fan. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Turn away, run away, oh. run away. Dude, if only season was closer. We're literally filming in a Candyland spot right now. This thing's 120 yards away from us. You have no idea how many deer we've seen tonight. We're just walking around. I don't like boot him off, but we're gonna have to. He'll pick his head up here in a second, ready?
That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. We're not even hunting. We're just trying to get out of the woods and there's only one way back to the truck and he was in the middle. Oh, there's here's another deer back there. I think so. If we'd have been in camouflage and you could have army crawled. Yeah. I could have just You would have had your first spot in stock. Beans taller, winds in our favor if you were in camo, army crawling. Maybe I thought he was gonna spook earlier and he kept coming closer and then and then right when I thought he was gonna run away, he'd just shake his head and go back eating. He was he was probably only sixty yards away. Fifty, sixty yards, that's right. Sweet spot, dude. Get ready for Nebraska.